What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome to a live review for you guys and it is Chelsea Free Crystal Palace nil. Guys, the perfect way to start off the new season. And I thought it would be a lot more frustrating for us, especially with the way the first 20 minutes came out because Crystal Palace was sitting deep. They were barely coming out of their half. I thought it was just going to be low block FC that we were going to have to deal with yet again. And I thought we needed a moment of magic to open up the game for us and we got that. Mark Alonso got a set piece. It was a beautiful delivery into the back of the net. That's exactly what we needed and it opened up the game for us. And from that point on, Crystal Palace didn't stand a chance. Like, I think they came in hoping for a draw from this game anyway because they didn't look like they had any intentions of coming out their own half. Maybe they would have tried to get a goal off of a mistake from us. Other than that, I didn't see anything from Crystal Palace that could have warranted them getting a result, getting a draw, victory, nothing. They were just poor today, absolutely poor. Maybe it's Patrick Vieira and like new manager virus and everything like that, but who cares about that anyway? It's about the way Chelsea played and Chelsea absolutely dominated. In defence, Trevor Chalobah, you could see him get more and more confident as the days continued to go on. Like he started turning players, he started trying to progress with the ball a bit more. And then in the second half, he started taking shots as well. You got, you got saw that finish for the third goal. Amazing finish into the bottom left-hand corner to make it 3-0. Um, there was a Christian Pulisic finish in between that. Um, I think it was a ball coming from a Aspel Equator cross. The, the, defense, the goalkeeper saved it and he just parried out straight to Pulisic to make it 2-0. And other than that, it was just all Chelsea. In midfield, Jorginho, he was ridiculous. He was so hard for Crystal Palace to try and get the ball off him without drawing a foul. Kovacic was usually at his best. He was getting the ball out of tight spaces and trying to progress it forward. But he struggled as well because they were just sitting deep. They were making it so hard for him to try and find any space in the final third. But his ball progression was good enough. He got himself in the right positions to try and have a pop from long range. And other than that, it was an all-round um, good performance from him. Mark Alonso held the ball well and at times was probably our best threat going forward. Some of his deliveries were excellent and he's had a very good start to the season as well. Surprising that he's still here after six seasons because every summer we keep saying Marcus Alonso is going to be on his way out. But he continues to say and he continues to produce these good performances against low blocks as well. So I can see the purpose that he has for the squad. Going forward, I can't lie, Timo Werner had another Timo Werner performance and... That's probably the only negative from today. His first touch still kind of stunk. His finishing was still completely Timo Werner. And I keep saying, like, there's not going to be the same amount of excuses for him this season. I'm not going to keep trying to say maybe it was this or maybe it was that. Nah, this guy does need to get more clinical. But maybe when Lukaku comes in and they start linking up well together, because I know that they both have the sort of styles where they would mesh perfectly together, maybe you'll start to see a more prolific Werner. But I really wouldn't hold my breath on it. I'm not going to make any bets on it anymore i just know lukaku's gonna come in and he's gonna bag goals and this team at the very least they bad goals against the low block so we're already improving from last season so guys i am happy already the lineup i was happy with substitutions we got kai havertz on the pitch we got emerson as well to get him a bit more match sharp i don't really recall who the third sub was for the life of me but it don't even really matter too much because we got the three points and we got the three points in dominant fashion we were one goal away from going top of the league on match day one we take this to Arsenal away next week and we should be all over them lot. They're absolutely shit. Like, I can't lie. Every year they get worse and worse. But I don't even want to say too much because you know exactly what we're like. They'll play like absolute dog shit and we'll give them three points just so Arteta stays in the job for another six months. We'll play like absolute clowns. So I don't want to say too much, but we should be battering them. It's a new season. It's a new Chelsea. It should be a new confidence as well. We're European champions. We're European champions for a reason. It's time to show it because I know we're going to be showing it. There's going to be hella champions of Europe shirts in the away end. There's going to be 90 minutes of champions of Europe. We know what we are. They need to start playing like champions of Europe. And I need to start seeing this in the games against Arsenal as well. Because we have a tough run of games coming up. We can't be dropping points to clowns. We didn't drop points to Vieira and them lot. Let's not drop points to Arsenal and give Mikel Arteta yet another scalp against us. Because this guy can't keep frauding wins against us. But positive performance. Man of the match for me was either Jorginho or Trevor Chalaba. It has to be one or the other for me. Both of them were absolutely amazing. You lot can make your decisions down in the comment section below. But yeah, guys, this is the end of my preview for today. Smash the like and subscribe button. We'll be doing a live review tomorrow. I can't lie. I, I want to go out and enjoy the result today. It's the first time I've been back in the bridge in over... 
18 months, I think, or something like that. The last time I was here, we beat Everton 4-0. Like, I know I was here for the Spurs game and everything, but, like, that don't count. And we also bowled a 2-0 lead, so I don't really want to remember that. Last time we came here, we won 4-0 at Everton for, for a league match. And now we come back, we won 3-0 again. I want to celebrate this. I want to go Oyster Rooms. I want to drink with Jordan and the guys, and I want to get fucked. So I ain't going to be doing a stream tonight. I'll be going... The vlog will be out later tonight on Chelsea Fan TV, so check that out. As always, like and subscribe to Chelsea Fan TV, everything like that. But we've got a good amount of content coming for you guys for the next few days. There will be a lot of previews covering the Arsenal v Chelsea game. We will be doing a live reaction tomorrow. We'll be doing like a little day after thing. That's probably the name will start running with it. But you guys already know, going to games and streaming, it's I've got to do one or the other. And if I'm going to games, it's very likely I won't be streaming afterwards. If I'm not going to the games, which I'll probably be missing a few of the aways for this season, then I'll be streaming after that. I'll stream off to the games that I go to. If it's not those, I won't be around. But guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on the Chelsea Crystal Palace game, who your man of the matches are for today. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. Let's try and get this channel to 25k by the end of the month. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Smash the like and subscribe button. We're out. Up the Chelsea.